Hi guys and welcome to the first ever movie review with The Quest Times. I will be your host and my name is Chidi Mam and I'm here with Elizabeth Achobe. So the first movie we're going to be talking about is Blood Sisters and it is a blockbuster movie which I'm sure most people have seen, a lot of people have seen and we won't talk about it because it is very controversial and yeah. it's really interesting. The movie is like everywhere. I'm sure a lot of people are even wondering what is so about Blood Sisters, everybody's talking about it. But personally, I felt the trailer did it for me than the main movie. I don't know about you though. I don't know what you said. Really? Why do you say that? But the trailer left me so... I don't know. There was this One feeling I got when I watched the trailer. I was like, oh wow, this is a Nigerian movie, really. You know, I was actually amazed. I was waiting for mm -hmm. it. At first, I didn't even know it was a series. I think that was my first turn off. Okay. I didn't expect it to be a series. I thought it was just going to be one thing we have watched and everybody goes home but it was a series that first was my turn off i was not comfortable to be in a series really? but eventually it turned out to be interesting to well i point. like the fact that it was like a series because it left us wanting more okay you know at the end of the day you want something to always look forward to after a movie you know sometimes when a movie ends and then you get disappointed that oh the movie has ended or oh, there's no more like a part two or part okay. three so mm -hmm. i'm happy that is a seasonal movie is really nice that you know nollywood has started you know upping up their game and bringing up such yes, yes. and for the cast i mm. love the cast like they took their time to pick one of the best in nollywood yes. we had um nancy simi mm -hmm. inidima uche jumbo ketensho ramsey noah like they, yes. were, just so they were all amazing i mean and i like the fact that you know the people who were like um how would i say it the what they call those people in the, the main the main yeah the main yes. characters like we've not seen nancy you know being like the front row you know Most trying to like take is. the lead i mean it was so nice to see her you know come out of the you know normal nancy normal nancy so i also really enjoyed nice. the chemistry between nancy and inidima and the movie like yeah. the bond that the friendship bond they had was just amazing that i mean we went. all we all need a friend like you know the two of them you know how many people day. can you know take the blow for you when you know you've done you know something really like. bad like i really like you know the fact that they brought out like that unbreakable bond yes, and then yes. and even throughout the movie we can see that you know they kept holding hands and you know kept the friendship yeah, alive. always reassuring each other yes, that i, yes, I have yes. your back i'm always there for you if you go down i go mm -hmm. down if you are guilty i'm, I'm guilty, guilty yes. how many people can say they have a friend that can really stand how many nigerian <laughs> girls i don't think i don't think I've, I've seen that but then it's really nice and also what do you feel about that love triangle between Kola? um what's that other girl's name sarah yeah okay um, Kola, sarah and the other guy what do you Kenny, feel about Kenny. it yeah uh, I don't know if it's a love triangle. I feel she really liked the Kenny guy, mm -hmm. but because of the whole financial burden her family okay. was going through, she had to marry someone mm -hmm. that can assist them in her, their whole financial struggle. So, so you can you not... can you do that for your family? You know, marry somebody for financial gains. I mean, oh, well, it's quite. <laughs> I don't know. I I would not say I can. If it was a comfortable mm -hmm. relationship, it was. If it was not an abusive relationship, yeah. yes, I can go all out for my family. Mm -hmm. But it was an abusive relationship. I don't know. I think I I like myself more than my. Family. I mean, but it was just. It wasn't. It wasn't like. How, how will I say? Like I'm not supporting color and all the violence. You know, he portrayed. But then that um how will i say that level of violence like do you think it was so much for her to leave because her family was in debt and then they needed like the financial aid so if you if you were in you know sarah's position like wouldn't you take you know that to consideration before you you know it was a lot the fact that he was me hitting her is already a, a lot like one slap already is is no no for me so yeah. for her to even continue that long i feel mm -hmm. like she already she tried like yes, but then did. at one point she just had to she just had to say okay fine i am done with this i don't care about whatever debt my family is having mm -hmm. this is my life this is me we're talking about so yeah. i'm not going to do anything again for my family mm -hmm. so i don't think it's no it's so what much. you what do you think of the role of uh, um what is his name i'm to know colors no okay. colors um best man. best friend yeah i can okay his role was good that was uh, daniel 18 yes. f young he did well you know, it was normal, uh, calm 
Daniel that we're used to. But I don't know how you can be friends with someone for that long and not know that much well, about I think them. It's, I think it's possible because, you know, some people, they have like different sides to them. You might see someone as the caring, loving, and then the girlfriend is seeing another side of him. And then okay. you as a friend cannot see. So, but he killed the role anyway. He yes, did very I good. love the way, you know, they brought different characters, you know, for you to see like the difference. I, I just and, like and they it. also did some things that we're not used to mm -hmm. in Nigerian movie, like uh, the relationship between the mother and the son, that's Kola uh, and Udwag. Yes, yes. I mean, the kissing, like, you don't do that to a grown <laughs> man. Like... Hey. I mean, is is I know we see that in other nice movies, bond. but it's a nice bond because some some Nigerian parents still do that. If yeah, really, yes, some some Nigerian parents are still affectionate, even if you are thirty to forty years old. That's okay, it. we know about affectionate, but showing it <laughs> physical display of the that was her favorite child. She just wanted you know everybody to know that that was her favorite child, the most successful, the most you know the shining son. But how do you feel that the mo like how do you feel about when the mother is always like down you know down casting like the other yeah, kids? Okay. That shows that the way a mother or a parent talk to a child can affect the psychology or I don't know affect the child's thinking and growing up. Now, if she was really um, showing this child love and being supportive, I'm sure she would have been able to uh stop the drugs or all those yes. other things but this girl was really trying to show you that okay i can do my best mm -hmm. but you kept on saying words that was bringing even, her down the one that even caught my attention was, was even when she tried you know came out of rehab she was like oh i'm clean for yes, this company yes, i want yes. you like i want to show you that i'm like you know as good as color and then she you know insulted her life that she's a dirty drug addict made her feel really really I mean, bad it's crazy. That, that, that was not actually good but i really <laughs> of the movie though they yes. did well the sets designing the the wardrobe like, no the wardrobe was good amazing. that was very like, very it was, nice it was on trend it was like ah! 2022 you know fashion trends it yes was really nice. i feel like I this like is it. one of ebony's life best movie yet we've seen other movies mm -hmm. that chief daddy and all, but this one was just top notch they did it well was. they did amazing it was <laughs> I, I loved it and then i like the twist also with the good doctor you know after yes, yes, that in, side we were all actually. thinking the good doctor would take you know them to the grandma's place you know giving them a shelter because i was even wondering that how somebody just see you you know trying to like trek and then you know i mean we know we know nigeria do not have those good people anymore. that's it how many good people do you know and then they were even trusting and they were like oh you know after all the bad days they've had they finally seen you know mm -hmm. good days and then after everything we found out that the um doctor was an organ um harvester. Harvester, yes that, that, was, that part was no. actually also good yes. i don't think i've seen nigerian movies where they talk about organ harvesters of a doctor yes, maybe yes. like probably a uh, ritualist they do those one but this one a doctor come on I we're mean, not used no, to that no, no. that was, was that was good too. it was nice then one other thing i wanted us to you know shed light on is that scene where mm. that guy was sent to kill um color okay. what do you feel about that it was too dramatic like why <laughs> do was. they they kept on going in circles you already know this person <laughs> is chasing you or is after you confront him already do you have to start I Nigeria and will have already you, you know, dare and dare. What what why are you following me <laughs> <laughs> who signed you <laughs> but then you know they went through the kitchen they went through elevators they climbed stairs i'm like was that necessary? I don't think that, that, that was, was that was not necessary. But and then, there's this picture of mm -hmm. DME that they were using for uh the I think when he died, I mean the whole okay. thing. That picture of DME is, is, is overused. We've seen it on other in other movies, and I felt like okay, this one was a good movie. Mm -hmm. They would have probably done another photo shoot to use for this movie. Well, does it really matter? It's just his it, as far as it's his face that is there, even if they use it for <laughs> one million movies i mean it doesn't matter it doesn't but matter. i feel like they would have done mm -hmm. something different that's mm -hmm. that's just it. yeah then also the scene where they just took us straight to when um nancy went to her grandmother's place okay, after they didn't the show us whether they went through obstacles or whatever like we just flash like into the future we're already seeing her in the grandmother's Grand. like <laughs> I mean, they just wanted to just make everything fast and just. But then it is, it is, um, 
um, what they call it, what they call that thing, seasonal, what, what they a call series. it? Yeah, it's yeah, a series. series. So I don't think they should have even been too fast about that scene. You know, they could have taken their time to have, you know, <laughs> told us whether like there was like another obstacle they faced, all those kind of stuff. They were tired. Like the, the, the girls have tried. They've been running all around. <laughs> they don't want them to give, no, give them a relax. Really like. But yeah. the ending or the last scene, mm -hmm. how did um, the closeness between Time and Kola yeah. And then you get to meet the people who killed your brother. And then you said, okay, you guys are free to go. It, okay, maybe she realized her brother was a monster or mm -hmm. something like that. But you guys were closed. You were not just supposed to dismiss them off like that. And then you had to kill your brother and the wife. Everything did not just sit down with me. The last thing did not do it for me at all. And then Shanann said, it is finished. What is finished? The series, the family... Or what? What of, is finished? I mean, I I think it's like the generational cost she was talking about. Oh, yeah, I think okay, that's what she okay, meant. Okay, you know? okay. I mean, the whole cost that the mother, yeah, the whole cost, the whole. You I, know, I, I I didn't say that. Facade the mom wanted to mm -hmm. keep, you know, going for years yeah. and years. Yeah. So, but at the end of the day, it was a good watch. Well, it was. It was something to you know. You could watch it over and over again because that's how captivating it is. I mean, none of the scenes can get old because you know. And they were very fast. Like they were not wasting time on a particular scene. Yeah. Like, okay, this is it. Deliver. Let's move on. Mm -hmm. They were just very fast with everything, and that was actually very. So beautiful. as for Ramsey Noah, the you know <laughs> Nollywood icon, you know we can see him at the. <laughs> at the background this time how do you it, perceive it that it's not background background per se I, mm -hmm. I know i was not comfortable with that at first because looking from um his uh role in living in bondage he yes. was this all powerful guy and then you brought him to this movie and then he's like just at first i thought he, he would not even talk at the whole movie like i thought he was mute for the mm -hmm. whole series then suddenly he's already making a phone call and then he's talking i'm like oh so you can't talk i know why would he talk <laughs> of course he will say something now even if you even if like he was like um how i said i mean i think he was still you know the ramsey noah we know because he was the mother's um what they call it right hand man yeah but so guy. yeah so i think although it's nice for once that you know he's but he still pulled it off well he put he it off did, very he did so it was, well it was you know good. portraying the bad guy finding the two girls i mean even after he got born mm -hmm. so that was it for me match so uh, yes, 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 i'm on a mission i must achieve it okay <laughs> it was it was <laughs> nice it was really nice and one other thing i want to talk about is the new um how would nudity. I say? Yeah, the nudity scenes. I love how you know we don't see censoring so much because most of this censoring we see are you know in Hollywood movies, and for the first time we're seeing you know yeah. sex like a really nice sex. Uh, no, sorry, let me not say like that. <laughs> so sorry but i'm seeing like you know a sex scene that is not so boring like mm. not just me and you on the bed and then we we'll cover ourselves yeah we're seeing the whole he's Everything. carrying me my hand is on the i mean it was it was exceptional they did it they was, did. It was, <laughs> it's, it's not the conventional style that we're used to exceptional was good. and then the bathroom scene i mean i mean it was like i said i was watching the nigerian version of 365 days i oh, love okay. the tension between um what's what's his name femi and yinka yeah femi yes, and yes, yinka yes, it yes, was it was off the hook i didn't expect them to play it off so well mm, you can yeah. see you know she's even trying to like touch her husband in the private area to you know congratulate him for the you know good job he's about to do. is usually this good girl in the movie yes. you know like calm but this time around she's bringing all bad girl vibes i can't mm. uh -uh. okay nice. and also the okay. fighting scene in the bathroom the conventry bathroom yeah, i really like that because you know we could see some parts of you know um, their body their everything bodies. was exposed mm -hmm. they didn't cover they didn't do shy mm -hmm. like okay i'm and getting the, somewhere the what they call that stuff like when people are fighting what they call that thing I, I the sound effects yeah okay, that's okay, what okay, okay, okay. the sound effects are not exaggerated in this movie yeah they are just the right amounts we need to you know see and hear mm -hmm. normally in nigerian movies i mean when we first one started, part is always high one, one part is low exactly. but this one everything and then when, when when you're trying to like slap somebody the sound they will use is just so <laughs> so <laughs> unrealistic but right now like so, so how how would you rate the movie there um 
I will give it um, a seven. Seven. Yes, because you know there, there there's room for improvement. You yeah, can't okay. give a movie. No, no, no. There's so much room for improvement. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of things they have to work on, and hopefully, if there's a season two, we'll see more improvement in that. It should be. How would they just end with? No, they can't end like that now. It's well, Nigerian series. Nigerian we don't series. know. Yeah, you know. might just tell us to use your head to finish the remaining parts. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> it's, it's, it's very true. But now that we've you know evolved, I don't think they will do such to so us. We be and they said you know is is a blockbuster. How they yeah. just they can't just you know they can't do us like that. They can't so, do so. So what do you like rate that? the movie? Hmm. Seven point five. Seven point five. That's 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 a nice rate. That's fair. I I, <laughs> I think so. Yes. All right. So I hope you guys enjoyed our movie review yes. on Blood Sisters. If you've not seen the movie, you should totally see it. It's a yes. good watch. It is. It is one of like um, top ten in Netflix, and I hope you all should, you know, try and watch it if you've not. So finally, we've come to the end of this movie review, and we hope you've enjoyed every bit of it. And we cannot wait to do another movie review. Yes yes so please visit our website www.thequesttimes.com and don't forget to follow us across all social media platforms at the quest times till then we remain chidima and elizabeth children right. bye guys bye.